and you're known for your web gems out in center field and hustle, but you're slowly getting into the fashion game. Talk a little bit about the socks. Yeah, they just kind of came to me. Uh, you know, part of it, I think, was some of my individual success last year, mostly the team success, and uh, came to me with an opportunity to uh, do a collaboration with Yo Socks in Toronto and just design some of my own socks. And uh, I've always been into fashion. I like fa fashion. I, uh, I like dressing a certain way. I like keeping up with fashion. And uh, you know, it just kind of seemed like an easy segue into, into the fashion world. Some of these socks, this inspiration from where you're from, also at the same time, there's a sock that has a compass on it, matches a tattoo of yours. Uh, how excited are you to get into the creative type side? Yeah, you know, I, I felt like I've always had a somewhat of a creative mind, and it's it's nice to be able to put some of my own my own spin and my own flair on, uh, you know, something that I'm going to be see, seeing other people wearing. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just a huge opportunity for me. Um, you know, I, I don't lose sight of the fact that this is my job and this is what I'm here to do, and I enjoy this. But um, me being able to do that allows me to take my mind off baseball when I'm not away and. Uh, you know, just get away from the game that, you know, is so hard to do. And, um, you know, I've learned over time if, if baseball is the only thing we got going on outside the field, then, uh, you know, you tend to think about it. And when things aren't going well, uh, this game could destroy you. So having some distractions outside of uh, baseball are, are a good thing to have. How would you describe your style? Because you've worn wooden bow ties before, nice jackets, kind of switched it up. You also have that Cali flavor because you're California roots. Yeah, but. I mean, California is definitely, you know, my, my home. It's my roots. Fashion's very big there. And, you know, I, I have cowboy boots too. So, uh, you know, I kind of just try to blend in with the environment I'm in. And um, I, I think that's something we can control as, as human beings is it doesn't have to be expensive clothes, but, um, you know, clothes that fit you, clothes that are tailored. Um, and I, I just think if you look good, you feel good. When you dress up and you go to other different cities when you're on a plane, you want to be comfortable, but also at the same time, you also want to look professional. So on those flights, like, how do you like to dress or kind of present yourself? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're fairly uh, casual as a team. Uh, you know, it starts with our manager. He, he's, he's fairly casual, so, so jeans are allowed. But, uh, you know, I like to wear nice jeans and, and a blazer and a collared shirt and um, just kind of look the part. This is something that I've always wanted to do. And, um, you know, I knew, you know, dressing a certain way on charters was how it's supposed to be. and. Uh, you know, I just try to carry that along. And how about during playoff time? You've seen basketball. Everybody always steps it up or does a little something crazy. Were you the same way last year? Yeah, I definitely stepped up my game a little bit. I think that you know the playoffs is somewhere every everybody wants to get to, and uh, you know those are some of the biggest games of your life. And uh, you know it just goes back to you know dressing good, you feel good. I have some pictures of some of your teammates for you just to kind of grade their style, give your take on what they wear. First off, we got to start off with the onesie party for the Super Bowl. Who wore their onesie best? You know, Strowman and Sanchez um, went above and beyond and they ordered these onesies that were designer and, um, you know, they, they definitely uh, stole the show with that. Batista had one too, his was, his was really nice as well. This kind of was Christmas morning-ish, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we all kind of just, it was kind of last minute, kind of threw it together, but uh, it was good fun for us. A lot of us were down in the Tampa area early for spring training and, and got together and watched the Super Bowl and just had a little theme to it. Uh, Jose Bautista. He puts it together very well and he's very involved with style. You know, I've known him for a while and I think uh, with, you know, the younger guys coming up, myself, Strowman, the Sanchez's, uh, some of the younger guys, you know, that really felt like they had a sense of style and purpose with, with the way they dressed. You know, he was able to go out and, and revamp his wardrobe and, and really step his game up and, you know, he has the ability to, to put a nice suit on and, and, and look very good. Edwin Encarnacion. He's a beast on the field and, uh, you know, he dresses the part off the field. And with the watch too, you got to make sure you see that right course, in the picture. Of course, <laughs> if you got it, show it off. Russell Martin, he loves the hats. Yeah, he's big. He's, he's also a guy that's sneaky big into fashion too. Uh, loves Tom Ford, loves a good suit. Uh, he kind of came up in, you know, a little bit more of the old school era where where suits were required on the flight. And uh, he's a guy that still, you know, still wears suits on the plane because he has a lot of them and he likes showing them off and he likes dressing, uh, dressing the part. Next we have Aaron Sanchez. This is a guy the last couple years, his style has definitely changed. Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a kid that's from uh, the middle of nowhere in Barstow. He's just another guy that, you know, was touched by Marcus Stroman as well, him being good friends and, you know, really discovering himself and his fashion and he's really started to step his game up as well. Even as a Strowman pose down, which we see right here. Yeah. 
And Strowman likes to switch it up a lot too, whether it's uh, a hat or just a plain tee or yeah, button down. Yeah, you know, down. he's got he's got his hats out now too. So it's uh, you you wear him with you see him with his hat on very frequently now, and he's just trying to brand his his uh, logo and his hats. And yeah, I mean, this guy this guy gets it. He he, he knows fashion well. He he stays up to date with it and. Uh, not afraid to spend his money. Next, would you be able to pull off these braids that Josh Donaldson rocks? You know what? I don't have this. I don't have the type of hair he does. If I if I did, I would I would consider growing it out. And you know, this guy, you know, when you're the MVP, you can do whatever you want. All right, now you. We talked a little bit before about the jackets. That's a nice color blue. You can pull it off. Got the beard going. It's a nice look. Yeah, you know, this is a uh, an outfit I threw together. It's one of probably one of my favorites and. You know, there's just little details that uh, go a long way. You know, a pocket square to match, you know, the shirt and put a nice watch on. And, you know, it's fun to get away from the grass and the dirt and, and put something nice on and then clean yourself up. And here is yeah. the wooden bow tie. Wooden bow tie got from two guys bow ties and I uh, saw them on Shark Tank and was, I was like, I've never seen anything like that before. And I reached out to them and they were able to send me a couple bow ties out and also a wooden fedora that I wear from time to time and you know just you no know, it just goes back to feeling good and and looking good do you wear them at the same time the fedora and the no i haven't i think it's too much wood but you know the lapel is also made out of wood too so it's a nice touch which again like you said is accessories and of course right here very nice tie yeah. also with the lapel the pocket I, i'm not going to take credit for this outfit i'm going to give uh, melissa here she <laughs> she dressed me this was actually a uh a fashion show I did in Toronto with the store got style and uh, you know they dressed me for the occasion and uh, you know she's been a, a sneaky influence on my uh, my fashion my fashion game she's got a great sense of uh, style and I enjoy going in their store and and getting new clothes 